Hi, hello. This is Anup here, and in this video, what we are going to see is what is new in Windows 365 Web Client Portal. Let's check that out. What are what are the new things available, and how fast it is compared to the previous one, and um, how the UI looks like. Right. So I'm going to log into one of the cloud PC. Before that, I I don't think there is much changes in the uh, Windows 365. Microsoft. Com portal itself. Um, apart from the highlight Windows 10, Windows 10, and Windows 11. If you have Windows 11 device, uh, cloud PC, you will see a uh, Windows 11 over here. This is I think changed recently. Hmm. or probably i might not have noticed this okay so that is the only change i can see in this particular portal okay so now let's launch one of the cloud pc right and as you can see there is a new url first of all right so you can see it is windows 365 microsoft.com web client and this is a guid number or some number which is associated to this particular cloud pc so what you can do with this is basically you can add this as a bookmark right if you want uh, you can add this as a bookmark of the cloud pc and uh, save it and launch it from there if you want so so that is that is very useful um, in in my perspective and i think users are going to like this i love this ui probably i'm looking for dark three dark theme uh, for this ui uh, there are there are some alternate keyboard layout options also available here that is very useful right if you are using i don't know german keyboard or if you are using some dutch keyboard or something like that and you want to enter the password which is a special character which is only available in that particular keyboard layout then this is going to be very useful right and you can select over here and even for chinese and all right i don't see german keyboard layout or dutch keyboard layout here probably that is not needed or i don't know what is that others maybe that is the others but anyways th i think this is this is pretty useful but for me i don't i don't require that so i'm going to turn that off but i'm going to enable printer microphone clipboard sharing etc right and i'm going to connect click on connect and it is now opening remote and establishing the connection now it's asking me to enter the password okay so the login screen sign in to cloud pc that screen is also changed now i like this ui <laughs> configuring remote uh, and here we go so we have logged into the um, cloud pc uh, with this particular url right over here you have an option to collapse toolbar that toolbar is gone so that disturbance is gone <laughs> okay um so that's pretty nice feature i would say and if if i click on the settings icon over here you would be able to see all these things switch focus between cloud pc and browser uh, you need to use this shortcut that is also useful windows logo key okay so all these shortcuts keyboard shortcuts for web client is pretty be useful right if you are not familiar uh, with uh, this kind of shortcut so the note this particular note is very useful uh, from a end user perspective okay let's click on in session options what are the options this is also used for example if you forget to enable one of these when you logged in normally you need to disconnect and connect back to have these settings back but in this settings option this is very useful to have this option for example if i want to disable or if i don't want to enable printer then i can uncheck this option and update it right disconnect to update the settings for change to take place you need to disconnect before next session so i'm going to opt in for that or you can use this option also if i click on that 
it won't close the tab it just ask for the username and password and then it will connect so that's that's pretty useful i'm sure there is a technical limitation that is why uh, to update you need to kind of disconnect and connect back okay and i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this right and i'm going to paste this in the in another tab okay and let's see what is happening it is asking me to directly giving access to that particular cloud pc and it is asking me to connect and asking me to enter the password so this is the example of a bookmark right if you have a bookmark you can go into that and you can just click on that bookmark to launch the cloud pc that is very useful i would say user friendly as well that was the quick video about the new a uh, rich experience end user experience of windows 365 web client i have tested this in windows 10 device as well and it was giving me a diff the old experience with windows 10 browser the same browser i used the same browser in windows 10 uh, as well but it was giving me a different experience i don't know what is that exactly but this is a windows 11 PC I am accessing this web client from a Windows 11 PC I am using this browser from Windows 11 laptop logging into Windows 365 cloud PC web client from Windows 11 in that scenario it works as expected but in Windows 10 it is giving me uh, some old rd client experience so probably I might be missing something let me know in the comments if you if you know why is that happening probably i will also check with some other browsers in windows 10 and uh, keep you updated in the description of the video thank you all for watching see you next time bye bye